Hi, welcome to Indoor Farm. Well, on this video, we're going to talk about the TDS and EC meter. What is this for? How to use it? And is it important to have it? Well, if you are growing your plants on the hydroponic system, then the TDS and EC meter is a must to have. Uh, what is it used for? This is to measure the amount of uh, nutrient inside your system. Now, different plants need a different level of nutrient and also in different stages. Now to find your range of nutrients to use on a particular plant, best is to use a Google. We're going to type in EC hydroponics chart. Under the images, you will see lots of different charts and different type of vegetable and you have a rough gauge of how much nutrient to put in to your system for your plants to grow well. Um, so what is TDS and what is EC? So as you can see, it's called the TDS and EC meter. TDS is a uh, total dissolved solid and is measured in a unit called PPM, parts per million. And EC is in electrical uh, conductivity. Uh, so which one should we look at, PPM or EC? Um, personally, I like to look at EC because PPM can mean different numbers. Now, give you an example. Uh, let's say 1000 EC. 1000 EC in ppm can be 500, can be 640, can be 700 ppm. It depends on uh, the model of the meter they're using, whether it's made for the America, made for the European or made for the Australian standard. Uh, to find out more about that, you can always Google and read more about that. So EC is more of a internationally everyone understands. 1000 EC means 1000 EC. Uh, let's have a look at this, how to use this meter okay so um, let's put it open of course and there is three buttons right there so the first will be the on and off we're going to turn it on when it's on you will see the uh, meter is reading on ec okay and then uh, it's on us slash cm us is a mini segment per centimeter and also the degrees okay celsius so if you if it's not on EC, you can press the shift button. You press the shift, it goes to PPM. And then when you press the shift again, it goes back to EC. But of course, you can see the degree and Fahrenheit will be keep changing as well. So there are four modes on it. Um, so what's important is to have to make sure that it's on EC unit when we are checking the amount of nutrient in your hydroponic system. So always keep an eye that it's on EC. Then we put the meter into the water so just open it up one and then just dip it in okay uh, there's another button called hold let me just uh, show you later i will just press it first okay so hold actually holds the number hold the reading okay so it's 472 it's really really low right now for this plant uh, it should be around 1002 um, so i know that i need to top up nutrient so this is why we need the meter. The meter is for you to test how much amount of nutrients in the system and uh, how much more nutrient you need to put it into the system to get the desired amount of nutrient level in the system. Um, one last thing is that uh, as you, you can see that the meat uh, is in US slash CM, as I said, is a mini uh, segment per centimeter. And Let's have a look at our nutrient. Our nutrient says uh, it's, it's using uh, MS, MS slash CM. MS is a uh, micro segment per centimeter. So, so when you see 1.0 to 1.5 MS, it also means uh, 1,000 to 1,500 uh, US uh, CM from your meter. Uh, why do I put MS here and US here? Just because I got no space to put on the label and um, basically it's just 1000 times from the conversion from MS to US is 1000 times so we can easily convert from the unit over there well I hope this uh, video uh, explained how to use the EC and TDS meter and if you've got more questions just put on the uh, comments box and uh, I'll, I'll help you out with it I will try to answer all the questions for you well thank you so much